hunt to live and live to hunt. And I've been hunting since I was a young boy. I went through the traditional ceremony of my first kill. And I was told at that time that I was going to be a provider forever. Hey -o, hey -o, hey -o, hey -o. I made that switch uh, two years ago. Uh, public awareness helped and prompted me to go ahead and uh, go that way because all my life, I, that's all I've known is just uh, lead ammunition. Well, I was grew up hunting with lead because that was my only option. Some bullets come apart. The copper bullet itself doesn't. I was I was kind of hesitant about it uh, up until five years ago when I first started using them. Now that, that's my go-to bullet. For health and safety reasons, I decided I wish to just go to copper. Just a personal choice, personal preference. I was pretty skeptical of switching over from my usual partitions, but I, I think I get a lot better product out of the lead-free. Copper is just all around best choice. I've been telling a lot of people about it. Though. My dad switched, my brother switched, my neighbors, like Tay Talville, he switched. This is a, a good step in the right direction to have the, have the copper as opposed to the lead. I first heard about lead free ammo probably 2012. I've heard of um, alternatives to lead in the past. I met David Bowen in our tribe and he showed me some demonstrations of you know ballistics and um, I decided to change right after. I uh, participated in a shooting demonstration workshop with the wildlife program over in Oregon and shot through some water and just different things and got a lot of uh, hands-on experience on like how much lead splatters and how much it can travel throughout the cavity of a critter. And One of my main concerns though is uh, when we consume or eat um, wild game, I worry about like high blood pressure, anemia, brain damage. When you shoot a deer, elk, uh, fragments, and they can end up in the, some of the good pieces like the uh, back straps. Upon impact of a, of a buffalo like this can splatter just like a shotgun shell, and so hopefully the chewing down on a piece of lead will gradually you know, uh, be a thing of the past. I encourage all individuals to practice uh, safety at all times and be aware of what you're shooting. With all the literature out now on the damage that lead bullets have done to the area, not only to us as people, but to the animals. In my time and age, I've seen uh, uh, at time there was hardly any eagles around this area. When uh, we leave carcasses behind or remains the behind in the mountains. We know that the, the animals, they come to feed on them. They'll take a free meal anytime they can, you know, for all wildlife. Birds eat the mice, the cougars eat the deer, the wolves eat the deer, the elk, the bear, whatever it may be, but there's nothing wrong with that. That's God's law. God give them that law to, to survive. And for us human beings, we take a lot of things for granted. Uh, we tend to be what our people would say, lauyach, you know, not being cognizant that we're uh, uh, perhaps killing an eagle and everything that led, led uh, ammunition and, and other poisons uh, due to our animals. Whether it be coyotes, wolves, eagles, hawks, all those who are uh, looking for a meal you know, to benefit like the hunter benefits, you know, we have to respect uh, all the animals and what they stand for. Plus, I, I really like that it helps save wildlife. I don't want to know that I possibly gave lead poisoning to a, a bald eagle that's eaten on a gut pile or something. The copper uh, maintains its integrity upon impact and uh, there'll be less uh, spoilage. And I tried it out and I couldn't believe the results. The damage was limited just to the wound channel. There wasn't no significant damage anywhere else. The weight retention and the expansion on it is second to none. Pick up copper bullets, I swear by them. A couple years ago we got a pretty big six point elk and I still, we still have the bullet at the house. Probably the best mushroom I've pulled out of an animal. The way it mushroomed, the weight retention, I mean it, it looks like it's probably 95% plus weight retention on it. So that was, that was a game changer for me. Seems cleaner, safer, 
better for the scavengers and everything else. So we want to uh, maintain our our way of life, even in this modern society, and doing this is is part of it. Understand the importance of wildlife to our our customs. I know that we do have a lot of people that have changed to non-lead and when we go to buffalo country I, I have a good feeling because I know a lot of our nest perch hunters are using non-lead and I do know a lot of the hunters from the other tribes too and they don't really talk about it so I, I kind of feel uh, as a tribe we're leading the effort. We have to be more careful on what we do in, in, in our outings in the woods. And be aware of your surroundings and uh, try to use uh, lead-free ammunition as you participate in your hunting practices. So I encourage you also to talk to your elders about the traditional methods that we practice still today. That's all I want to share with everybody today. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh.